Hi everyone and welcome to Joe Reviews. Today I'm covering a tool used in most people's bathrooms, except this tool has a lot of people afraid, but really there's no reason because it can't hurt you. Smart scales have grown in popularity as more of our devices become connected to the internet. I've been using the Body Smart Scale from Withings to track my weight as I've been increasing my running mileage. A few key highlights to know are it can measure body fat percentage, lean mass and water percentage, visceral fat, BMI, and more. At $99, it's one of Withings' more affordable smart scales, but is it worth its asking price? Or should I have spraying a little more money for one of their more advanced scales? Plus, how accurate are some of the readings of Body Smart? I had a DEXA test done to compare those results with Body Smart's readings, so let's get into it. First, the unboxing and setup. When opening the box, there's another box, and upon opening that one, you find the scale wrapped in plastic. Underneath the scale are the instructions and legs for the scale. Next, I downloaded the Withings app, and I created an account and synced my Apple Health account with Withings so the two can talk with each other. Next, I went through the steps to set up the Body Smart scale. I selected what product I was setting up. The app detected the scale quickly. Then it paired and updated the scale. It took a couple of minutes to update and then it rebooted the scale. After that, it connected to my home's Wi-Fi. Once I configured my scale, setup was complete. Overall, setup was very simple and quick. Most people should be able to have their setup in about 10 minutes. After completing the setup, there were more tutorial videos on how to use your scale and set it up for different users. Looking at the design of the BodySmart scale, top is made from a high strength tempered glass. Near the top is a 2.8 inch colored LCD screen. I find it easy to read and not too small. At 1.1 inches thin, it has a slim, sleek design that looks ultra modern. Some scales you want to hide in your bathroom, but this one I'd have no problem leaving out, except in my place, I just don't have room to leave it out. I keep mine tucked away in a closet and pull it out when I take a measurement. Inside the scale are four weight sensors with a weight range of nine to 440 pounds. Withings says Body Smart is accurate within 0.1 pounds. It runs on four AAA batteries and has a typical battery life of 15 months. Also, with the scale, you can store it for free unlimited weigh-ins, which you'll have access to through the app. If the scale for some reason isn't able to sync to your app, it will store up to 16 weigh-ins. Being that this is a smart scale, it can tell a lot more about a person other than what they weigh, although it obviously does that too. It also calculates your body composition, which is made up of four things. First, fat mass, which is the amount of body fat you carry. There's also bone mass and muscle mass, which just like fat mass, accounts for how much of each weighs in your body. Lastly, there is body water percentage, which calculates intracellular and extracellular water, which is just water inside and outside of your body cells. By adding up fat mass, bone mass, and muscle mass, it will equal your weight. Why is it important to know your body's composition? Other than just providing more information than a simple reading on your weight, it also provides more information than BMI. That's because even if your weight doesn't change, you can have changes to your fat or muscle mass. You'll often hear people who are trying to lose weight and they're not seeing any progress that muscle weighs more than fat. Now with this body smart skill, you'll be able to accurately track changes in your fat and muscle mass. You might be wondering, as I was, how stepping on a scale can give you all this body composition information. Body Smart is able to calculate this information by using Bioelectrical Impedance Analysis, or BIA for short. What this means is a small, safe electrical current is sent through the lower half of the body. A person with a higher percentage of body fat will create more resistance for the electrical current. The scale is able to measure the resistance of the electrical current and calculates the body's composition based off the resistance. Withings says the current used is very low voltage that is safe for the general public, but notes there are certain people that should avoid using the scale, such as pregnant people or people with implanted electronic devices. More body metrics that you're able to measure are lean body mass and body water mass. Lean mass is the weight of everything in your body except for fat. This would include all your organs, bones, body water, and muscle mass. Why would a person want to keep track of their lean mass? Withings mentions in their app that muscles and organs have a higher metabolic rate compared to fat. This means that having a higher proportion of lean mass can enhance your metabolism and make it easier to maintain a healthy weight. Lean body mass is also associated with your basal metabolic rate, which is the number of calories you burn at rest, and we'll cover more in a little bit. If you're wondering what a good lean mass percentage is, Withings has a chart that shows typical results based on age and gender. Water mass is the amount of water in your body expressed as a percentage of your total weight. The majority of the human body is comprised of water. Again, Withings shows a chart for typical body water percentage for males and females. Just as the scale uses a bioelectrical current analysis to determine body fat, it also uses BIA to determine body water percentage. Why is it important to know your body's water mass? Water is essential for many of your body's functions, including digestion, regulating body temp, and much more. 
It's essential to keep your body hydrated and make sure you're taking in enough water daily. Stepping on the Body Smart scale can help you determine if you're taking in enough water. Another metric Body Smart can display is a person's visceral fat. This is fat stored around the organs such as your liver, intestines, stomach, and other organs. It's not the fat stored just beneath the skin that you can pinch, which is called subcutaneous fat. By keeping an eye on your visceral fat, you can help avoid problems such as heart disease and high cholesterol. The last feature I'll talk about with this scale is basal metabolic rate and age. Your BMI BMR represents the amount of energy your body needs to function at rest. This includes energy for breathing, cell production, circulation, and nutrient absorption. Your BMR represents about 60 to 70% of the energy consumed by the body per day. Your BMR can change depending on if you have a change in muscle mass, as muscle requires more energy than fat. BMR is again calculated using the bioelectrical impedance analysis. With BMR, there is also your metabolic age. Withings compares you to other users with similar characteristics, such as weight, age, and sex. What this means is if your metabolic age is lower than your actual age, you may have a higher amount of lean body mass than your peers. It's basically just another way to look at your basal metabolic rate. These are the majority of the features that BodySmart can perform. Additionally, it can also give you your heart rate and also your BMI or body mass index. I chose the BodySmart scale because I thought for the price it offered a good amount of features, but there are plenty of other smart scales available and Withings offers a couple more at higher price points. The Body Comp scale is $100 more at $200, it comes with everything the Body Smart scale has, plus two more main features. It can tell you your vascular age, which is the measurement of your arteries age, and can differ from your actual age. Also, BodyCom can give you an electrodermal activity score, which takes in measurements on the sweat glands of your feet to help monitor stress levels over time. Then, there is Withings Top of the Line scale, Body Scan. This scale retails for $400 and has a handle to grab onto that's used to tell your distribution of fat and muscle in five segments of your body. In addition to that, it has a six lead ECG for detecting AFib and a larger 3.2 inch display. Both scales have features that sounded interesting to me. However, having to spend one to $200 more for just a couple more features isn't worth it to me. The app itself is pretty clean and easy to use. When opening the app, you have all your health metrics listed to scroll through. If you connect it with Apple Health or Google Fit, the Withings app imports all your health data, which shows up on the main screen. Finding some of the metrics can be a little tricky. To see your BMI, basal metabolic rate, or metabolic age, you need to click on the weight metric. In there, they are shown underneath a graph of your weight. To find the metrics for your visceral fat, lean mass, and water mass, you have to click on the body composition. These stats are then shown underneath the body composition graph. One thing I noticed when looking up your weight or any of the other metrics is that they don't always show up right away in the app after performing a weigh-in. Sometimes they'll show up after I quit the app and go back into it. I think this is something that could use some improvement as it seems to not always work the best. At the top right corner of the app is a skill icon, which takes you to the My Devices page. Here you can change settings or get more information on your scale, such as battery life, customize screens, or enter different modes. Some of the different modes include athlete mode, which I have turned on. If you work out more than eight hours a week and have a resting heart rate below 60 beats per minute, then you'll want to use this mode to provide a more accurate body composition measurement. There's also an eyes closed mode, which won't display your weight, but will display trends. This is helpful for people who really don't want to know their actual number of their weight, but still see which direction they're heading. Another mode that's geared more towards people with internal medical devices is weight-only mode. Since the scale emits a small electrical current to take measurements in weight-only mode, this is disabled to accommodate these people. Lastly, there's a pregnancy mode. This mode provides personalized recommendations for women going through pregnancy. Going back to the My Devices page, you can also share your scale with other people from here. This allows them to set up their own profile and their weight will be recorded to their own profile. You're able to pick a user when stepping on the scale. It will measure your weight. Then to select a user, you lift a foot to cycle through the different profiles. This feature works well in my experience. I like the simplicity of selecting a different user. Lastly, I wanted to cover how accurate are the readings of Body Smart. Since the scale primarily relies on results from biometric impedance analysis, it really comes down to how much can you rely on BIA. When looking online at what studies have shown on the accuracy of BIA, results can be mixed. One of the more recent studies I found, researchers tested for fat mass accuracy in Huawei scales using bioelectrical impedance analysis. Overall, fat mass accuracy was plus or minus 3.3%. Researchers said the scales tended to underestimate fat mass in men with low BMI and overestimate fat mass in women with high BMI. I'll link the study below. While I think the weight measurements of BodySmart are accurate, I'm a little more weary of the other readings. 
I mentioned earlier I had a DEXA scan to see how the results compared with those of the BodySmart scale. For those who don't know, a DEXA scan measures your bone density and fat mass. It's performed by lying down on a table and an arm takes scans of your body. It does expose you to some radiation, however they say it's no more than if you were flying in an airplane from New York to California. As for the results, my DEXA scan came back with my body fat at 13.2%. On the day I took the DEXA test, I weighed myself on the scale and it came back with my fat at 7.7%. Typically, the scale rates my fat between 8 and 10%. I always thought BodySmart rated my fat percentage a little low, but having the DEXA scan confirmed that. I compared the results from the DEXA test to the readings of the Withings scale. As you can see, there is a difference of about 5.5% for the fat reading. Withings had a little lower reading for both visceral fat and bone mass when compared with the DEXA scan. To me, the fat mass and other readings from the scale give me a general idea of where I'm at and which direction I'm heading. I just figure the other readings are accurate within a few percentage points, which is good enough for me since I just want to see which way I'm trending. Overall, I've been very happy with the BodySmart scale from Withings. For $99, it packs a lot of features. I like that I'm able to track more than just my weight. Although accuracy of these other measurements might still be questionable, I think at the very least you can track which way you're trending. Setup was easy, and I like that everything shows up in their app on my phone. I think some of the measurements could show up sooner than what they do. I don't like that to get my most current measurements. I sometimes must force quit the app. Other than a couple small complaints, the scale looks good and does what I want. It provides a convenient way for me to track my weight along with other body metrics. If I were to rate this scale, I'd give it an 8.5 out of 10. That's it for my review. Let me know if you think this scale is worth its $99 price tag or if you have found better scales in that range. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll catch you for the next review.